Hi everyone, and welcome to Bluebeam Review. My name is Ari, and I'm a Bluebeam Certified Instructor with Digital Drafting Systems. Today, we're going to learn how to export our page labels to Excel and to split our page names from our page numbers. We can begin by going to our thumbnails panel, the four squares icon right here, and then we need to make sure that our page labels are ready to be exported into bookmarks. So I have mine ready, but just in case, if you want to, you can click on the thumbnails dropdown, and then you can click on reset all page labels. This will turn them all into numbered pages, one through the amount of pages that you have. So mine would be one through six in this case. I used this recently and I left pages four, five, and six as they are. And then I just use the create page labels button in order to get these page labels right here. So I was able to get a 2.2.1, 2, and three. And so I've already created a tutorial for that, but just so you know, it's very simple. You can just click on this button. Page region is my favorite way to do it. You can also choose which pages you're going to do this for. So I just chose pages one through three. Then you would select, and you can actually make as many regions as you want to. So I could guess get this info, or I could use a second region to also get this text right here and include it in my page label. Now that my page labels are ready to go, all I need to do is go to my bookmarks panel. This icon right here it looks like a little book with a little bookmark sticking out of it. And we can essentially click on Create Bookmarks right here. This is a special dialog that also allows you to do a few things. You can get your page labels automatically from thumbnails, which is what I'm going to be doing now. You can also use a page region as well, so you don't need to have your page labels ready to go. I prefer to have my page labels ready, so we're going to be doing it like this. Now, before we create bookmarks from our page labels, I'm going to delete my existing ones because I've actually done this already in my testing. So I'm just going to select the first one, hold shift to select all of them, right click and delete. Now let's go back to create bookmarks and we'll just create them from page labels. And it's as simple as that. This is why I like to set up my page labels first before I do my bookmarks. Now, by the way, you may have also noticed that if we go back to create page labels, the reverse is also possible. You can create your bookmarks first and then use them to create page labels. So whichever one comes first is fine. And that's how flexible and interchangeable these two tabs are and how they work well with each other. This is also why they're usually split on different sides of the screen. So now that we have our bookmarks and our page labels ready, let's get to the real heart of this video. Let's export these bookmarks into an Excel spreadsheet. How we can do this is by going to the bookmarks dropdown right here, and we have export right here. This is going to give us many different kinds of options. Now we can choose between different files. We don't have to do this with just one file. So we can add as many files as we need to or many files inside of a folder. Then we can go to our format right here and change it to CSV. This is essentially a database file which is compatible with Excel. You can also create PDFs out of them but that's usually not as uh, viable and important as creating the CSV. So we can switch that. We can also go to our settings here to include column headers. There aren't that many settings of course as you can see. And the style here will basically give us more or less info. So tree and index, we're going to test them both right now and see what kind of info we get from both of them. Then, of course, we can choose which folder this is going to be saving to. This folder right here is one that I've chosen, so I'm actually just going to click on custom folder here. I could also browse for one by clicking on this square with the three dots right here. And then the file name for this is just going to be called underscore bookmarks at the end of the regular file name. That way we can identify both files. So we're just going to say save after this, and this file is going to open automatically after we make it because we have this option down here for that. So we're going to do save, and now the file should be opening. And let's see how it looks. This is the tree style, and I believe this one is the simplest of the styles, and I believe index gives us one extra column. So we'll wait for that to load. So there it is. Basically, we have all of our bookmarks here, and I believe that if we had different child bookmarks and bookmarks associated with other bookmarks, then they would basically branch off into a tree style. So that's why that was called tree before. So this one is extremely simple. Let's do this one more time. We're going to go to the bookmarks dropdown, click on export bookmarks, and this time, make sure that our CSV is chosen. We're going to be using index, custom folder, and we're just going to do save one more time. And sadly, you can see that our settings were not saved, and there is no button to save presets for this, sadly. So you'll just want to make sure that you change your formats and a few other settings here every time you do this. It isn't that extensive, so it doesn't take me too long to do that. All right, let's wait for this one to load, and let's see what new information we get and what index really means. This will just process relatively quickly. 
and there it is. So what this essentially does is, is it gives us two columns. We have this bookmark column and a designation column. This essentially means that our bookmarks, just like before, will be showing. But we now have this destination, which kind of is a label for a label, so to speak, meaning that now we know that the first page in this document is a 2.2.1. So this is kind of like another way of categorizing our bookmarks. And it isn't really necessary, but this could be useful if you wanted to. And so that's essentially how we can create bookmarks and export them into Excel. And that way we can have them and use them for other purposes. Thanks very much for watching our tutorial on how to create bookmarks from page labels and how to export them into Excel. Once again, my name is Ari, and I'm with Digital Drafting Systems. Hope you have a great rest of your day.